Welcome to Season 2, Episode 21 of Plane Savers! Okay, Chucky, the boys have yeah. made uh, a suggestion yeah. that is, frankly, pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I thought I have to come see you and ask your thoughts. Okay. So, uh, where are we going? The room here. For fuck's sake, that ain't gonna work, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why? Well, I'm good. Is it, so he doesn't have a radio or a mount. We have a serviceable commercial PT6, and he can cat us a mount. This is lighter, right? Yeah. So I'll have to just figure out CG. And what I explained to them is like all those APUs he made, it was just a engine like this, yeah, and he made well, it work. Yeah. Because this is the APU to check. That's all, That's what all it is, man. So, if they get the C a G in their position and get a mount made, and we put a King Air prop on it, why wouldn't it work? It'll work better than any other configuration ever. What does it weigh? What does the motor weigh that ton is? Well, that, so that, the original motor weighs what? Four hundred pounds. What is the big motor weigh? Five fifty, six hundred pounds. Yeah. So all we gotta do is figure out where it's supposed to sit. So we design where the CG is. So the CG of this airplane is gonna be at the pilot seat. Like theoretically, the pilot is the load and the fuel. So somewhere between the fuel and the pilot is the CG, right? With the whippity crank bullshit engine. Everything else is a cluster. So they put a big radio and they have to add ballast. So all you gotta do is where's the CG of the airplane? Where did we put the PT6? With the King Air Pro. Benjamin auto cads us a tank, get it welded up by a certified welder, put a pump in it, run turbine turbine. The only drawback to this is it's gonna sound stupid. What do you think of that? <laughs> to be very honest, Chucky, if we could pull this off. If we can pull okay. this off, well, you can't. Here, here's my question. Here, there's there's nothing you know to stop you. Here's the question. That. If we said, hey, Chuck, hey, bud, do you think you could, uh, you and Dean, build us a stand so we can run these up just outside the front hangar? He'd be like, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll get her all hooked up and fired up. Yeah, nothing to it. <laughs> this doesn't know what's going flying That's to true. run. Like, when this thing starts, it doesn't know what it's going to do. It can be in a test cell, it could be at 16,000 feet. It don't care. A lot more horsepower though, isn't it? Well, you might have to... <laughs> <laughs> but it'll, it'll be able to do this, so... Yeah, straight up, buddy. Straight up. <laughs> but I can tell you right now, there's no reason why you can't do that. Well, actually, he's further ahead because he doesn't have an engine or mount. And the guys that want to sell him the engine want too much money for it because we're going to have to send it out, get it torn down, do crank NDT and the whole nine years, right? So this one, you got records till new, and still got time on it. It's a commercial engine. There you go. You just have to steal some exhaust pipes from Joe. <laughs> so the original engine goes right about here. Well, it has drawings. We can figure it out. Benjamin will be able to tell us right where the ultimate C of G is, and that's where we put it. I'm guessing it's about exactly where it's at right now. You think so? Yeah. Build an engine mount, make it fit the original condition, get it up into the center. You have options. What do you think, Benjamin? I think uh, I'm 100% done for it. It's going to be uh, it's going to be flying pretty soon, Remember I hope. You? As far as, is there any major thing? Where's Stella? Oh. Oh, you got a lot of stuff Yeah. <laughs> hey, time went on these, right? Yep. They're only 3,500 hours. And there's two of them. There you get spare. <laughs> <laughs> spare. 
<laughs> what do you yeah, think, folks? Would, this is this is absolutely crazy. That's why I grabbed Chucky. Oh, yeah. Usually he's the, the, the level-headed one. No, I'm not. <laughs> right, right, uh, lately I've been right off my rocker going through. That's okay. Well, that's what you need to get this down, right? So if you're going to be all legit, you can find reasons not to do it, but there's no reason why I can't be done. There is no reason why I can't be done. This is exactly right. Plus, we have all the components for it. You mean we don't have another motor for this thing? Well, he didn't have a motor in the first place. So we have cowlings, components, props, engines. We just actually did half the project right here. There you go. What do you think, Chuck? Oh, it could be done. Let me assure you. What do you personally think? What do I personally think? Wow. It's different, that's a goddamn sure. But, you kind of want to keep original. Well, you can. Out, like, you can later, once he gives time to find, get an engine checked out. But the last thing you want to do is all this work and then I'm have once a snap a crank on takeoff. And where that thing actually got to go. And then he'll just CAD us up an engine mount and we'll get 4130 tubing and base it on the wall thicknesses and gusseting of an SRM and have it welded up. What do you think, Mike? I should probably look pretty cool. I'm speechless. I'm <laughs> absolutely speechless. I don't know. I don't know. I, this never even crossed my mind until Rod just pulled this thing out of this corner and put it there. Well, this what's bugging me is they don't have an engine mount or engine and they're worried about wood strips, whether they steam them or soak them. I'm like, yeah, you got a bigger problem than that. You know, the propulsion part is missing. <laughs> there you go, no, it's here. It's here now. Yeah. The propulsion part is not missing anymore. So I'm gonna say this airplane balances right at the center line of the axle. You just I calculate, so, just yeah. calculate it. Yeah. Cause basically, it's going to want to fly neutral flight controls like this. Now this wing design, obviously, is for lift. Mm -hmm. They hadn't designed <coughs> high-speed wings at this moment. So this is a lift wing, so you can only push it so fast. Right. But the PT-6 will be way more controllable and less <coughs> mass. It'll just be... It, I, I imagine if he's in front of the hangar and the king air is at the taxiway, it just goes... <laughs> <laughs> And then you can come back to <laughs> throw in reverse and just like, oh, oh, no. oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. And remember, reversing a <laughs> tail wheel airplane does yeah. this. It gives you, it goes like this. Do you think? Push you, it's, it's safer though. Yeah. We need to know the CG of the current design yeah. exactly, like from the weight and balance. Then we're going to need the weight of the engine, the diameter of the prop. And then we'll figure out exactly where this will duplicate it. But I'm not sure that the new engine is in the ultimate position. We'll put it in all, we, now we have an option to put it perfectly. All right. It would be nice to talk to one of the pilots or builders of that, what is it, a Jacobs? And ask them, because they would have moved it as far back as they yeah, physically possibly right. could, and then dealt with the rest, either with ballast or flight control issues, or flight controls. So. The whole airplane would be re-rigged for, we have an opportunity to go to perfect CAG. I'm just asking, I'm just like thinking, would a plane with a turbo prop, would you mean, would you mean? Is there any manufacturer who would put the turbo prop? No. No, eh? And, uh, and the, another unique thing. You just, would all you have to do is get your CAG for the original airplane. Is it ideal? No. And then you got to figure out yeah. where you want that engine. Then it's going to be the easiest to handle. This is all about easy to handle because there ain't a power issue. He's just going to go. Yeah. You'll be like legit able to. Yeah, you'll just be able to hang right on it. Right. You will be able to easily knife edge it <laughs> and fly right down the taxiway. And what's it take out? Okay. <laughs> okay. Is it possible? Well, seeing you don't have an engine or a mount or a prop, this is 
all stuff is here for it, so it's more possible than the radio. Did it right now, there's more pieces. You got more, <laughs> you just went 85% more legit than you did if you waited yeah. for your radio. Can you design a mount? Easy. Yes, with help, probably, on cat here, for sure. Yep. Would you fly? <laughs> Why not? That's a Let's try. Well, at least he's not going to have to worry about engine failure. Yeah, that's one point. Or Whoa, what do you guys think? <laughs> Is this the most craziest idea? This side of Just Mike Patty's uh, garage? I'm gonna leave it up to you. Like you can fly a bathtub. I'm gonna leave it up to you. This discussion can go on forever. Let me know in the comment comments, folks. All we wanted to do was steam some wood today, <laughs> and this changes everything. <laughs>